it's a significant uh, day for us as as, as the institute. It, it's it's a it's a miles another milestone. We've been talking about collaborating with a number of our BRICS partners, China included, for a very long time, and part of today was to cement the, those conversations that have happened over a period of time. So today was signing an, an MOU. It's a practical MOU um, where we want to make sure that the scholarly exchanges between uh, Chinese. Uh, academics and South African academics and also young young scholars in in the humanities and social sciences we also were signing the MOU to also uh, agree on areas of cooperation around around research so what what we're going to do from from uh, taking a uh, um, from taking things from, from, from today is to make sure that our, our academics have joint research projects with, with academics in, 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 in China. I think for us it's, it's also about making sure that when we talk about BRICS co collaboration we take that seriously through, through such, such um, uh, initiatives as, 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 as today. I am indeed uh, excited that uh, our Chinese friends uh, came to visit us as, as, as the institute and they are here in, in South Africa again taking the BRICS mandate um, uh, forward. Uh, I can just give you a short introduction of our institute. We mainly have four functions. Uh, one is a plat uh, platform for academic exchanges. Just now, our president, Xie Fujian, said we will hold uh, conferences and do the uh, scholars' exchange programs. Uh, the second one is a research base will launch about 50 joint research programs during three years. We have already released uh, 18 ones, and uh, next year we'll release another 16 ones. And uh, the third one is a hub for degree training and professional training. And uh, degree education will exchange the scholars and uh, the especially students between our two countries as well as between China and uh, African countries. And uh, the last one is a window for communication. Uh, we'll, we have two websites. One is in Chinese, the other is in English. And we will launch the Journal of China-African Studies at the end of this year, both in Chinese and in English. For more stories like these, go to www.social-tv.co.za, subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on our social mediums.